Where's everyone else? We took some damage, had to beam you back separately. Tuvok needs you, come on. The Harvester ship was only disabled, but now they're trying to board us. That's one tough ship, but at least Voyager's still in one piece. Chang, Monroe, the Harvester's docking tendrils are attempting to breach the hull. Go to the equipment room and restock. Are anywhere near as tough as their ship, you're going to need some heavy Everyone fighting. Okay? I'm fine. The harvesters are almost through. Come on! Any cost.
As you can see, we took some casualties. Do you require medical attention? If you need medical attention, just come back here. require medical attention. Your assistance is much appreciated, Ensign. I'll say. Any later and we might have been a harvester snack. When road a bridge, the harvesters have been eliminated. Good work, Ensign. We'll get cleanup crews down there on the double. Can't believe the aliens survived the hit from that dreadnought. It would have been much worse had we not disabled the harvester. Not that that's going to make anyone around here feel any better. What do you mean? Let's just say that as ship's morale officer, I've noticed people are a little on edge from constantly being on the defensive for so long. I just hope we get out of here soon. Tuvok, Ensign Monroe, report to the conference room in half an hour. The Isodecium is working. Environmental controls and most critical systems will be online soon. But I don't know if we'll get full power back. How long before warp drive? I want to get Voyager as far from this death trap as possible. I might be able to get it up and running, but I can't guarantee its stability with that constant power drain from the forge's dampening field. Harry, what about sensors? Can we... Wait, aren't we... Go ahead, Ensign. What's on your mind? Well, aren't we going to counterattack? What? I mean... Are we just going to sit here and wait for them to attack again, or are we going to strike back? I don't intend to leave Voyager a sitting duck, Ensign. Maybe you weren't paying attention just now, but we're doing our best to get out of here. Mr. Monroe, you were invited to this conference as a courtesy. The captain has rejected your proposal. Captain, I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. All right, Ensign. Just what is everyone thinking? Well... It's just that people are tired of being on the defensive. I have to agree. I've talked with some of the crew. Morale is low. They feel vulnerable. The best defense is often a strong offense. What are we supposed to do without engines and weapons? Drift over there and use harsh language? That thing's outer defenses could cut Voyager to ribbons. Not every problem can be solved by force, Ensign. I would have thought you would know that by now. While we're sitting here licking our wounds, the Forge could send another Harvester ship. All the more reason to get repairs done sooner. But what if the repairs can't be finished because of that dampening field? I understand. We're all feeling vulnerable. But I'm not just captain of this ship. I'm the captain of her crew as well. I can't ignore the morale of my people. If they don't get a chance to fight back, they might not have any fight left in them by the time the next Harvester comes. And I can't ignore the fate of the other countless victims this forge has taken and the ones it's yet to take. We've been fighting so hard for our own survival, we've almost forgotten our responsibility to the others trapped here. If we have a chance to stop this madness once and for all, we must take it. However, Voyager is in no shape to challenge the Forge. Mr. Monroe, I take it you have a plan in mind. Yes, I do. Trojan Horse. The Harvester Ship. Of course! I can take a small team of my best people. We use the Harvester to enter the Forge and lower its defenses so you can send reinforcements and shuttles. If we can shut down the dampening field, Voyager and the other ships should be able to escape. We don't have any idea what kind of internal defenses that thing has. At the very least, we can buy Voyager some time. All right. Tuvok, Chakotay, Monroe, let's put together a plan. It's time we brought the fight to our captors. Once the dampening field generator is down, we will evacuate the forge and return to Voyager via the shuttlecrafts. Crewman Jaworski, yes. Sir, how are we going to get the harvester back to the forge? We don't know how to operate it, do we? A science team has examined the harvester ship and discovered an automatic recall system. The ship is programmed to return to the forge on its own. 
your team leader, Ensign Monroe, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. The first team is going to be a small group, just myself, Telsia, Beesman, and Chell. We will board the harvester and initiate the auto-return sequence. We believe the harvester will return to this area of the forge, a docking ring of some sort. Still under construction, apparently. Our scans indicate that the external defense's power grid is located somewhere in this area. Once we shut it down, we'll call for the reinforcements. That's where the rest of you come in. Once we rendezvous, we will spread out and proceed down this main shaft. We'll try to locate the generator for the dampening field and destroy it, allowing Voyager to escape. Any questions? Liz. What kind of resistance are we going to run into? Honestly, we don't know. We presume there'll be more harvesters over there and who knows what else. We don't know anything about this forge and who's operating it, but I expect pretty heavy resistance. Look, I know some of you must be scared. I know I am, but the Hazard team was created and trained for exactly this kind of dangerous assignment. We can beat this thing. This crew has repeatedly surprised and impressed me over these past several years. Starfleet, Maquis, and others. We've all come together and performed beyond the expectations of even the finest starship crew. I know you can do this. We will shut down this death trap. All right, let's suit up and get going. My team, meet by the Harvester docking tendril in one half hour. Dismissed. Come to wish me luck, Tuvok? Vulcans do not believe in luck, Mr. Monroe. However, your success is crucial. And while I believe you will prevail, I hope that your mission does not encounter undue adversity. Thanks, Tuvok. We will join you as soon as your team deactivates the outer defenses. <laughs>